It's been five days since the country was left shocked as canisters of smoke bombs were burst inside and outside the parliament house. But now, five days later, the family of one of the accused persons, Neelam, has come to the court saying that there has been blatant violation of the fundamental rights and legal rights of the accused persons. Neelam and three others had been arrested from the Parliament House on December 13th after bursting those uh, smoke bombs in the Parliament House high security area. Two more persons have been arrested since. While they're all in police custody, under the and being interrogated by the special cell of the Delhi police, Neelam's family has now come to court saying that for the last five days she has not been allowed to meet any family member or even a lawyer. A petition on this regard has been moved before the Patiala House Court here and during the hearing today, the lawyer appearing for Neelam's family has said that this is a blatant violation not just of fundamental rights of liberty but also of the legal process under the CRPC which defines the rights of an accused person to meet with their lawyer to speak to their family members. The special cell on the other hand says that this is a very very sensitive matter and the investigation is at a nascent stage. The special prosecutor appearing for the police in fact said that uh, the FIR copy also has not been given to the accused because of the sensitivity of the matter and the fact that the accused persons have not filed an application with the police calling for a copy of the FIR. On behalf of the family, however, the lawyer argued that when the application is before the court, it is then the responsibility of the court to provide the accused with the FIR so that they are aware of the allegations of the offences that have been uh, uh, imposed on uh, against them. The entire argument has been heard by the court today and the court in fact questioned why the perocard that is the brother of accused Neelam was not physically present in the courtroom and why proper documentation regarding his identity and relationship would not submitted to the court. While the lawyer has said that the Aadhaar card has been submitted, the court has now asked the brother to be physically present in the courtroom to prove his identity as Neelam's brother and will then pass an order in this matter. We have filed that we get the FIR copy of FIR, at least the visitation right, so that we can get from the accused and know what other things are in it. So today, what was on it, a reply came to it. रिप्लाई आया है स्टेट की तरफ से कि वो कहते हैं कि इट इज़ ए सेंसिबल मैटर डेट्स वाई हम इसमें एफआईआर आई आर हाँ सेंसिटिव मैटर इसमें हम एफआईआर की कॉपी नहीं दे सकते तो क्या आप किसी भी मैटर के फेस पे वो सेंसिबल मैटर लगा के उसको आप ये कह देंगे कि ये, ये इसमें हम एफ आई कॉपी नहीं देंगे वी आर डायरेक्टली डिनाइंग फ्रॉम दी फैक्ट कि जो एक्यूज का राइट है जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल राइट right है उसका वायलेशन हो रहा है यहाँ पर क्लियरली वायलेशन हो रहा है बिफोर द कोर्ट तो इसमें अब हम देखते हैं कि कल क्या ऑर्डर आता है ऑर्डर इसमें रिजर्व रखा गया है कल नीलम जी के भाई आएंगे यहाँ पे उसके बाद में ऑर्डर दिया जाएगा जो भी ऑर्डर आएगा उसको हम आगे फिर चैलेंज करेंगे ताकि एफआईआर की कॉपी मिल सके क्योंकि राइट है उसका कोई उससे डिनाई नहीं कर सकता so one point that you also raised before the court that the court has asked you questions regarding is the identity of the family and proof of identity that why is the perocard not here what are you going to do about that पैरोकार के लिए मैंने ऑलरेडी उसमें उसका आधार कार्ड अटैच किया था अब ये कह रहे हैं कि पैरोकार का यहाँ पे होना चाहिए तो कल उनके भाई जो यहाँ पैरोकार बने हैं वो आ जाएंगे उसके बाद में आइडेंटिटी कंफर्म हो जाएगी और कोई डॉक्यूमेंट लगता तो हम लगा के फिर जो ऑर्डर होगा वो आ जाएगा पुलिस की तरफ से पुलिस इज वेरी क्लियरली सर इट्स अ वेरी सेंसिटिव केस एनी पर्सन मीटिंग दी accused could influence this and it, uh, and that you also you have also not moved an application before the police for a copy of the FIR that procedure aapne follow nahi kiya dekhi dekhi procedure ka aisa hai ki hum ye family kisko jante hai family jante hai investigation officer ko family investigation officer ke paas gayi he is a, he is on the rank of the ACP agar wahan jati hai unhe clearly mana kar diya jata hai they are waiting for more than 4 to 5 hours just ki bhai inhe milne diya jaye milne to at least FIR copy di jaye ऑफिसर ने मिलना भी उचित नहीं समझा सेकेंडली द सेट यू हैव टू मूव टू द कोर्ट आप मूव कीजिए ऑर्डर लाइए उसके बाद हम आपको मिलने देंगे या फायर की कॉपी देंगे इसीलिए यहाँ पे और सेकेंडली अगर प्रोसीजर भी अगर नहीं हुआ कि कमिश्नर के पास जाना तो ऐसा है कि अगर नहीं भी गए तो डायरेक्टली हम कोर्ट में आए हैं 
कोर्ट में अगर लगाया है तो कोर्ट हम नहीं करेंगे ड्यूटी बाउंड है बट डेट इज़ अ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द कोर्ट कि उसमें दे अभी अब एक केस और हुआ था आपको पता है न्यूज़ के लिए केस हुआ था उसी में सेम द सेम द थिंग इज यू ए पी एंड ऑल दैट एफ की कॉपी वहाँ दी गई तो हम कह रहे हैं इट इज़ अ मैटर ऑफ द राइट हम किसी चीज़ के लिए भीख नहीं मांग रहे हैं बैगिंग नहीं कर रहे हैं हम उसका राइट हम वो कह रहे हैं The investigation in the case of course is ongoing teams of the special cell have been sent out across the country to look into the larger conspiracy behind this attack because the big question really is how did these people manage to enter the high security zone how was this conspiracy hatched how were they able to get these canisters and smuggle them inside the high security zone and is there any anti-national or foreign hand behind it all of these questions are being probed by the special cell but at the moment before the batiala house court is the question that does indian legal system allow for violation of the basic rights of an accused person even if the question is of a very sensitive investigation into a national security breach in new delhi with camera person kirpal this is anisha mathur for india today